There are some 8.7 million animal species on Earth and so far we've only managed to identify about 1.6 million of them. So it's no surprise that new and rare animals are being discovered almost every day. While most of the animals in this world are normal looking, there are also many others that are so unusual and bizarre looking it makes you wonder if they're even real. Here is a list of some of the rarest and strangest looking animals that will make you wonder what else could be out there. Imagine exploring the deep dark depths of the ocean and seeing this chilling sight. With 20 some feet long arms and elbow like bends, the big fin squid is both unusual and unnerving. Scientists know very little about these squids as they are rarely seen but they are widely found throughout the world's deep ocean. Their arms and tentacles can grow more than 20 times the length of their body and have microscopic suckers on them which they use to trap their prey. Their alien-like presence is just another reminder of all the strange and bizarre creatures in the dark depths of the ocean. Found solely on the Baja California Peninsula of Mexico, the Mexican mole lizard can grow to almost 10 inches in length and live for one or two years. With only two front legs and no melanin to protect their skin from the sun, Mexican mole lizards only emerge from the soil in the late evening or after heavy rain. It eats insects and other ground-dwelling creatures and uses its autotomous tail as an escape tactic for predators. The faceless cusk is a type of cusk eel found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans at depths from 12,000 to 17,000 feet and grows to about 18.5 inches in length. The face is named after its appearance due to having an unusual and extremely reduced face. Its mouth is located on the underside of its head and the sides of the head do not display any visible eyes. However, they do possess eyes which can be seen deep beneath the skin. It also has two pairs of large nostrils towards the front of the head above the mouth. The siphonophores are deep sea creatures that are made up of a colony of specialized individuals known as zooids. The zooids have different functions such as locomotion, capturing prey, waste removal and reproduction. All zooids are also genetically identical and attach themselves so closely to the stem of a siphonophore that the whole colony looks like a single individual. There are 175 different species discovered so far and majority of them are long, thin, transparent floaters made of mostly gelatinous material. Some of the species are also known to emit lights to attract and attack prey. Scientists recently discovered a new species known as Apolymia that can grow longer than 390 feet which makes it the longest creature in the world. The Cape Rain Frog is found in South Africa and can grow up to 45 mm in length. It lives underground and usually emerges just before rains, thus the name Rain Frog. It however cannot swim and will drown if placed in water. This animal's round shape allows it to inflate itself with air and puff up when danger comes near. The silky anteater also known as the pygmy anteater is the smallest of all known anteaters. Found in lowland rainforests in southern Mexico and Central and South America, they can grow up to 18 inches long with a prehensile tail that can reach up to 9.5 inches long. They are nocturnal and arboreal and have hind feet that are highly modified for climbing trees. They mostly feed on ants but also feed on wasps and other insects such as termites and beetles. Barrel eyes are deep sea fish found in tropical to temperate waters of the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans. These fish are named because of their barrel-shaped tubular eyes which are generally directed upwards to detect the silhouettes of available prey. However, the fish are capable of directing their eyes forward as well. 
One species of the Barrelli family Macropina is recognized for a highly unusual transparent fluid filled seal on its head, through which the entire inner part of the head can be seen, that is their eyes, brain and all the nerve endings that make up their head. They have a tiny mouth and most of their body is covered with large scales. The fish normally hangs nearly motionless in the water at a depth of more than 2000 feet using its large fins for stability and with its eyes directed upward. The Arabian sand boa is a species of snake endemic to the Arabian Peninsula and Iran. Adults can grow to a total length of about 15 inches including the tail. Their eyes are very small and are located on the top of the head which has a blunt snout and is wedge shaped. It is largely nocturnal and during the day it buries itself deep in the sand but moves towards the surface at dusk. Here it remains slightly below the surface with just its eyes projecting ready to pounce on any small creature that happens to pass. The red-lipped batfish found around the Galapagos Islands and Peru is mainly known for its bright red lips. As weak swimmers, batfish tend to crawl the ocean floor. They can reach up to 40 cm in length and when they reach maturity, their dorsal fin becomes a single spine-like projection thought to function primarily as a lure for prey. Known by the common name Sunda flying lemur or Sunda kalugo, this flying mammal is not actually a lemur nor does it fly. It's one of two known species of kalugos, otherwise known as the best gliders of all gliding mammals. They can glide in air for distances of up to 200 meters between trees and can reach up to 17 inches in body length. Native to Southeast Asia, they mostly feed on plants and fruits. Once numbering in the millions all across the Eurasia, the Saiga antelope are listed as critically endangered today and only small isolated populations remain in the grasslands and semi-deserts in Central Asia. These unusual antelopes have a distinctive large bulbous nose which is thought to filter out dust in the dry summers. The Saiga can migrate over distances of up to 1000 km between summer and winter. Found on the beaches of Chile and Peru, this unusual organism so closely resembles a rock on the outside that if you walk by one, you might not realize that it's actually an invertebrate marine animal with a full set of organs inside. The Paiura chilensis is a tunicate and a filter feeder that eats by sucking in seawater and filtering microorganisms. Interestingly, they are heavily fished, have become delicacy in Chile and can be served raw or cooked. This wild looking bat is actually real, although the photo makes it look larger than it really is, as their bodies are only about 10 inches long. However, its wingspan can be more than 3 feet wide. Male hammer-headed bats have large heads so they can make extremely loud honking noises to call females. Some scientists believe these bats are infected with Ebola virus, but show no symptoms of it. It's unclear if they pass the virus on to humans or not since it's consumed as bushmeat in some parts of Africa. They are found in West and Central Africa and eat mostly fruits. Goblin sharks live hundreds of feet under the ocean and thank goodness because look at that face. These rare animals are sometimes called living fossils because they are the only known remaining representative of Mitsukurinidae, a family of sharks whose lineage is around 125 million years old. They can grow up to 20 feet long and have a shovel shaped snout and an impressive array of long pointed teeth, flabby body and a tail with weakly developed lower lobe. However, the most striking feature of the goblin shark is its extendable mouth. The mouth can retract to a position under the eye or extend forward under the snout. At first glance, the cock of the rock is truly bizarre. Its feathery crest obscures its beak, making it appear mouthless. 
They live in the humid forests of South America and use boulders or rocky caves for breeding, hence their name. Only the males have beautiful orange coloration, and they use the feather crests on their head to help attract a mate. The females are much duller in color in comparison to the males. They are mostly fruit eaters and they serve an important role in the rainforests by contributing to the spread of local plant diversity. The pyrosome, while it might look intimidating, is actually perfectly safe to approach. Pyrosomes are part of a family of sea creatures known as tunicates or sea squirts. They have also been called cockroaches of the sea due to their ability to pull food from even the most inhospitable environments. These translucent worm-like creatures can measure up to 60 feet long and often glow and look similar to a plastic bag floating through the water. Up close, one can see thousands of tiny creatures along this giant creature's body. That's because pyrosomes are actually a free-flowing colony of hundreds or even thousands of individual organisms known as zooids. These small multicellular creatures pump water through their bodies to catch and feed on phytoplankton, poop particles, and other bacteria.